I am going to review care of the client with heart failure. At the conclusion of this video, the nurse should be able to identify the appropriate care for a client diagnosed with heart failure. The nurse needs to know symptoms of right-sided versus left-sided heart failure, medications including cardiac glucosides and diuretics, and lifestyle and dietary changes necessary for the care of a client with heart failure. Let's start with assessment of left-sided heart failure, which has pulmonary effect, pulmonary edema. You'll see dyspnea, orthopnea, cough with frothy blood-tinged sputum, pulmonary edema with rales, crackles, adventitious lung sounds. They will experience weakness, changes in mental status due to cerebral anoxia, edema, and weight gain. They also see decreased renal function with increased BUN and protein in the urine and an S3 gallop. Assessment for right-sided heart failure. Dependent edema usually in the ankle and lower extremities, liver enlargement, abdominal pain, nausea, and bloating, Coolness of extremities, that would be secondary to venous congestion in the major organs, coolness of the hands and the feet, and weight gain. Let's talk about implementation for heart failure. Administer medications. Cardiac glucosides, digoxin is the fundamental drug in treatment of heart failure. Most often you'll have a loading dose and then a maintenance dose. ACE inhibitors, ARBs, diuretics vasodilators, and morphine. You'd want the person to have a low-sodium, low-calorie, low-residue diet. The low-residue diet helps the client not get bloated and have abdominal pain. Monitor the INO, oxygen therapy, daily weight, teach about medications and diet. A lot of teaching. Here is your practice question. The nurse cares for the client diagnosed with heart failure. The client has an intravenous infusion running at 60 drops per minute and receives 40 milligrams of furosemide intravenously daily. The client complains, I am more tired than usual. While the client sits in a chair, the nurse auscultates the lungs and notes crackles that were not present earlier. Which initial nursing action is most appropriate? Let's read the answers together. Stat page to the healthcare provider. Slow the IV to keep vein open. Obtain an electrocardiogram or place the client in a supine position. We don't want to stat page the healthcare provider. We want to intervene to prevent further deterioration. The healthcare can be notified following an intervention. Slow the IV to a keep open rate is the correct answer. Client is displaying symptoms related to a deteriorating cardiovascular system. You want to prevent further deterioration by slowing the IV rate. Just remember heart failure is failure of heart to pump enough blood to meet metabolic, both oxygen and nutrient demands of the tissues. Obtain electrocardiogram. That is the wrong answer. Vital signs are a good initial assessment, but it's inappropriate to obtain an electrocardiogram at this point. And placing the client in a supine position. We think about positions and we think about what is going to prevent or promote and a supine position will not promote better aeration. Do not lie the client flat.